welcome back to my channel. This is another just a really quick uh, Halloween inspired makeup look. So I'm gonna start off with my paint pot in Bare Study. I'll pick it up on the end of my brush, put it on the back of my hand, and then use the brush. This is the MAC 224. Then I'll go all over my lid. I've already done my face makeup, like my foundation and my eyebrows, but I haven't done anything else. So you'll see a bit more than usually. Put it all over, all the way to my brow because I use it as a highlight. Okay, I've got my palette here and I'm gonna start with this one here. This is... <sighs> it's the Mach Vibe Tribe, um, the Quartet in Wild Horses, and the shade is Charcoal Brown. I don't know if I'm saying it right, but I'm just going to pick it up on a flat brush and apply it all over the lid. Alright. I'm gonna take MAC 217 and blend it out. I'm really sorry if the lighting changes, but I'm filming in front of a big window, blah, 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 blah. Climate. So we're just gonna blend this higher. I'm gonna get a more dense brush now. This is the Jessup 226, and I'm gonna dip that into this one here. This is Wild Horses from the Mac Vibe Tribe Wild Horses line. With this one, I'm gonna put that just on the lash line. A little bit in the outer corner. Just noticed. I better have gotten that on camera because I just noticed that my cheek thing fell out of the pan. It's almost whole. So that's that's just great. Using the 217 brush again to blend even more. Well, even more, blend the darker colour into the lighter colour. I'm going to use the smudger brush again and put it into this purple something colour. This is the Stars and Rockets from MAC. I think it's a pearl, pearl something. What is it? It's a deluxe pearl. Just going to take that and put it underneath my eye. You know how Halloween is always, um, the Halloween colours are always orange and black? I really like purple and lime green together. They're very Halloween-y. I might regret this, but I'm also going to put it in my... Is it tear ducts? Yeah. And drag it a little bit onto the... Brown, a little bit a lot. Oh, a helicopter. I basically live next to the airport in my city, so this might be heard a lot in my videos. All right, just gonna blend that a little bit with the 217 yet again. Okay, now to the fun part. I'm going to use a lot of liner. I'm using the Maybelline Eye Studio Long Lasting Drama Gel Eyeliner, 24 hours. Again, end of the brush, back of the hand. Okay, I'm gonna line my eyes and then I'm gonna come back and do something more. Okay, I've already done my eyeliner and my mascara and I am going to 
do some more now. It's not in, like everyone's done this before, but I just want to show you how I do it. And now I'm going to powder. Lightly over everything. And this is the Makeup Store Loose Powder in Pale. And then I'm gonna bronze with my MAC bronzer in medium. And I'm gonna put it just below the spider web. Now I'm gonna highlight with my AOA Studio highlighter in icing. This is not for everyone and it's kind of costumey. It's kind of bluish. And now I'm gonna blush. I'm gonna use the blush that fell out of the pan earlier. This is the. Ooh, what do you call it again? This is the Let's Be Friends blush from MAC. It's better for darker skin tones, I'll admit. But it can be pretty cool sometimes if you're pale and careful. I'm gonna whack this thing in my nose. Next, I'm going to use the AOA Studio Wonder Metal Liquid Lipstick in Rogue. I'm going to put that on the back of my hand with everything else. Need a few bumps. Take my brush and put it on. Now, the last thing I'm going to do with this look is take my highlighter again and the Jessup 226 smudger, pack it on the brush, and put it on the lip. Did you understand that? And put it on the lip. is kind of the last thing that I'm gonna do it's lashes I'm gonna use these really thick ones on the top duh, and then individual ones on the bottom so I'm gonna do that and I'll come back to show you the finished look so this is the final look and it's a little bit more costumey than I wanted it to be in my head it turned out differently than it did in real life but there's always room to improve and do better next time so if you like this video, click like, subscribe to my channel, and yeah, I have loads of more things ready for Halloween, so stay tuned for next week. Bye-bye.